All right, welcome to another NFL Predictions. We're at a different location this time. Brady is not with us, but he's already made his picks. And uh, we're going to be making our picks. This is the final week of our NFL Predictions. This week is all division matchups. So it's, it's you know, this is how the NFL has set this up to be the final week. And we're excited about it. A lot of the playoff, most of the playoff positions are already set. But, of course, there's still a few positions left. Yes, there are. And um, this is the final week, week 18 of the year. Yeah. Longer than most season, last season, right? It's, it's, yeah, this is the longest season in history. Usually there's only, usually there's only 17 weeks, at least there has been. Uh, previous years there was 15, I think there was 14 at one time. But it's been 17 for a good while now. It's 18 this year, though. So things are different. Yeah. And, I'll, like I said, uh, several positions, uh, Playoff positions are already feel, filled, but there's a couple. There, some teams can be jumbled around. And the order of one through seven is not locked in officially. Now the Packers, they've already they've already clinched, uh, but all everything has not has not done that yet. No. So there's still a few more spots open, and right there's more playoff spots this year than any year before. Well, last year they changed it. So oh, yeah, usually there used to be when I was growing up there were six positions. Now there's seven. There were seven last year, seven this year. And so that's it's, it's going to be very very exciting. Uh, do, do, you know, we're going to make predictions during the playoffs. There's no question about that. Uh, we're going to be doing the, those predictions uh, over the next few weeks. Okay, we had to pause for a second. Like we said, we're in a different location, but we we still wanted to do these predictions for this week. And so well, let's go ahead and get to them. Now we usually do on Thursday. It's Friday night. It's late Friday night. Uh, the games start tomorrow. There's two games tomorrow. Starting out with the first game, which is going to be the Denver Broncos hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And so um, Denver's completely out of the playoffs. The Chiefs are still in, or they're definitely in. They did have the number one position several weeks ago. No longer we're in a public location, so it's a little bit more uh, nerve-wracking. We're in our kitchen. Uh, so there's um, the Chiefs had that position locked up a few weeks ago. No longer. Tennessee's got it if the Tennessee wins. We'll get to Tennessee in a little bit. Kansas City going into Denver. Who wins? Uh, easily Kansas City, unless there's just like an upset. And the Broncos, if the Broncos won, this would be a, a surprise. Yeah. It would be just like their their last hurrah because, they're like you said, they're out of the playoffs. But Kansas right. City, yeah, they're the number one seed currently, correct, in the AFC? No, Tennessee is no. at number one. Okay. But if, if the Chiefs win and Tennessee loses, the Chiefs take it over. However, if Tennessee wins, if they both win, Tennessee's got it. They're just a little bit ahead. So I'm going to say the Chiefs Yeah. Win. And like we said, Brady made these uh, made these selections. Uh, several, or, you know, he, he did these with us just a little bit ago, and uh, he didn't want to be on camera. Like I said, we're in a public location, so he didn't want to be in front of people. So we've got uh, all three of us taking the Chiefs tomorrow night. And I don't have all the uh, the official uh, – their, their, their scores or their um, – their, the standings and, and the records in front of me right now, uh, so we can't announce all those. Also tomorrow night, we got the Philadelphia Eagles, who's in the playoffs, who's won I think seven out of eight games, taking on the Cowboys, who won that division in the East. Uh, they've got five losses though. Who's going to win that? I think they're in Dallas too. Well, no, um, I think they're in Philly. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is definitely a divisional game. Both these teams are in the playoffs. Yeah, Dallas needs to win. Uh, you know, like we've said many times, we're Cowboys fans. We don't like Philadelphia. We don't like the Giants. We don't like the football team because they're all in the division. That's right. And um, the Eagles are a wild card going into the playoffs, and they have clinched it. Yep. And it would look really bad for the Cowboys if they lost. It the would. Team. Cowboys. Cowboys need to win today or else their chances in the playoffs are not. Yeah. Are, are very low. Like we said, we're Cowboys fans. T for Texas, T for Tennessee. This is Tennessee sweatshirt. It was just there recently. I bought this. I'm going to go Philly, unfortunately. They've won seven out of eight, and I'm nervous about the Cowboys. One week they look great, week one, one week they don't. They're in Philly. I think Philly wins, and, and, and I don't like that, um, but I think that's what's going to happen. We'll go on to the Sunday game. Cincinnati, who has already won the North, taking on the Browns, who are, who are completely out of it. The Browns beat them earlier in the year, but... Cincinnati's been playing really good. They beat the Chiefs last they week. They beat the Chiefs last week. And the game kind of had a strange ending, didn't it? It did. It was, if you didn't watch it, it was crazy. 
I, I cannot believe they didn't kick the field goal, but they didn't, and it it, it, well, it they worked did out for them. But... Well, yeah, it worked. It worked out for them. So here's the deal: Brady's got Cincinnati. I'm going to take Cincinnati. Are you going to take Cincinnati? Yeah, right. I'm. I'm going to agree with you. Baker Cincinnati. Mayfield already had surgery. He's not playing. Not that it matters because he's been playing like garbage. Jets are going to Buffalo. Buffalo, if they win, they win the East. Who's winning? Brady's got Buffalo. Uh, who was it? Buffalo and who? <laughs> Buffalo and the Jets. I'm going to say uh, Buffalo. There's yes. There's... You no. Know, all Buffalo's got to do is win and they're in. They're, they're in, but they're going to win the division. And the last time they've won the division has been a long time ago. Well, and you know, I shouldn't say that. They won last year. Before that, it had been many moons. I'm going Buffalo as well. We also got Green Bay. They're traveling to Detroit. Green Bay's already got the division locked up and the first place seed locked up. Detroit, if they, if Jacksonville wins, then I th and Detroit loses, which they're probably going to, then they would get the first place. But right now it's Jacksonville getting the first uh, draft pick. Yeah. Can the Lions upset Green Bay? No. Green no. Bay is the number one seed, right? Yeah, number one seed. They gotta win. If they don't, that'll. It, it make them look really bad going into playoffs. You're nervous because I've noticed here, you're nervous because we're in a public no, location. I'm not nervous. Because I've said, yeah, Green Bay is the number one seed, and you go, is they the number one seed? Oh, no. You no, did it I'm twice. Sorry. It's I did, okay. I, I just think I was just. Yeah, lost, you're, lost you're, my train you're looking around. No, I'm not nervous here. Okay. Green Bay? I, I say Green Bay as well. Then we have New England taking on Miami. Now, if Buffalo loses and New England wins, New England wins the East. But if Buffalo and New England both win, Buffalo has the tiebreaker and Buffalo wins. So you get the New England Patriots going to Miami. Who's going to win that? Well, Miami, they, they did have a, a streak of wins. What? Six, like seven in a row? Seven or six games. Yeah, something but they like lost that. last week. But they did lose. And they got knocked out of the playoffs. Yeah. Um, New England or Miami? New England. I'm going to say New England. Buffalo did have a good streak for a while, and they look yeah. good. But New England needs to win this. Uh, and they will, and Buffalo will. So just like you said, Buffalo had the division. But there'll still be a, a wild card. I think Miami could win it, but I don't think they're going to. And so I'm going to go New England as well. A game that matters not at all, the Bears going to Minnesota. Brady took Minnesota. I'll take Minnesota because they're the home team. What do you think? I'll say Minnesota, too. They're probably just like a, a, a little smidgen. They're a little better. They're a little better. Just a little. Yeah. But neither one of them in the playoffs. No, they're both out. Washington, who they just announced this week. I'll mention this. On February 2nd, they announced what – that's when they're going to announce their new team name. No more Washington football team. They've got a new team coming. They, they released some little, like, sneak peeks of their new uniform, which is still going to be the burgundy and the yellow or the, the traditional Washington what colors. Like, what are they going to do? I don't know. Is, that, is it going to be like the Cleveland Guardians where it's just like, come on, this is just... Well, there is a name that has, like, kind of leaked out. Yeah, what is it? And it, what people think it's going to be is the Washington Admirals. Admirals? Yeah. Other names that have been mentioned are, like, the, um, the Wolves... The Red Wolves. Washington Red Wolves. Red Wolves. And Redskins. I think there's another Red Wolves team. Um, like, it, I think maybe Miami of Ohio. They, there's a football team. And, or there's a school, Miami, in Ohio. Uh, and I think there might be the Red Wolves. But I'm not sure on that. Mm -hmm. There's some other team that has Red Wolves, so I don't think it's going to be that. I also heard it could be the Washington Presidents. Presidents. I don't like, I don't like any like, of those. Like, why are all the Washington teams based on... They sound like something about... Well, they're in you know, D.C. they are in D.C., yeah. But yeah. Washington Nationals. What's the other one? Washington Capitals? Is that basketball? Capital. There's a hockey team, Capitals. Hockey. I think. Well, what, what's their best? I don't know. They don't have best. Oh, they, they have the Wizards. Oh, yeah. They used to be the Bullets, but there's too much like violence in D.C., so they get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, so you got Washington, currently the football team, taking on the Giants in New York. Who wins? Um... Wait, hold on. What was Washington? The <laughs> Washington yeah, right. going to the Giants. I'll say Washington. Yeah, I am Washington too. Washington probably it's definitely a tad better. Yeah. And um, but yeah, they're not in the playoffs. We, one of these we got teams. the Saints, who are technically not out. I think a lot of teams have to lose for them to get that last spot in the NFC. They're going to Atlanta. Brady picked Atlanta. Going to go to the Saints. Going to go to Atlanta. 
I'm going to say the Saints. I am too. I, I think they're just a little better yeah. than the Falcons. Carolina, they stink. They're going to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has a lot of injuries. Uh, and Antonio Brown taking up his jersey and running off the field, all that stuff that happened last week. They're in trouble, you know, in the NFC. I mean, they got Brady, so they're not in trouble. But yeah. they're going to – Carolina's going there. Does Carolina upset them? No. No, I don't think so either. No. It, even with all their injuries, as long as Tom Brady's on the field, yeah, they, they can beat a, a, a team. Anybody. Team. Anybody. Here's the other deal. Indy is our is my AFC team. I love the Cowboys, but my AFC team is the Colts. And my and my number three team. Yeah, and they're going into Jacksonville. You know, down there, it's it's next door to the more famous Daly's place, which is where AEW uh, takes place a lot of times. But anyway, if Indy wins, they're in the playoffs. Um, do they win? Do they go to Do they go to Jacksonville? Win? Yeah, they've got to. They have to. They've been doing great. They're, they've got a lot of great players. Yep. That one guy. Taylor, the running Taylor, back. He's, he's in the Pro Bowl, right? He's in the Pro Bowl. Possibly Rookie of the Year. Probably Could Rookie be. of the Year. Jacksonville stinks, and they want that number one pick. If Jacksonville loses, they're guaranteed to get the yeah, number one pick. All they're going to do is they just kind of they, – they're not that do good it. anyway. And if they just, like – just, just you know, if they're, like, real close getting ready to tackle somebody as they start running yeah. to the end zone, they say, I'll oh, just let them go. Let's get that. Yes. Let's get that – First pick, two, yeah. two consecutive years. You could do it, Jacksonville. I know you can. Yeah. And then we got Pittsburgh. It's a big game. Probably big, biggest game of the week. Game we'll be watching or, along with the, the Browns Col- Colts. and Cincy. Colts, that's my pick. Yeah, well, you Col- we all got Colts for that one. We got Pittsburgh coming up. This is the game of the week. Pittsburgh going to Baltimore. And both of these teams are in. The, there's a sliver of hope that either one of these teams can make the playoffs. We hope they don't. Uh, well, Brady wants Baltimore to go they're, in. Yeah, it's like a two percent chance. They're they're still in the hunt, but the gun only has one bullet, and the animal's like way <laughs> off yeah. in the distance. And if, it's like a one in a million shot. There's like five teams got to lose for either one of these to, to make it in. Pittsburgh, Big Ben's probably his last game ever. Going to Baltimore, who wins this? Brady's got Baltimore because he's a Ravens fan. Uh, I'm gonna say Baltimore. Well, I, yeah, I, I am too. Uh, even though it's Big Ben's last game, I picked them to beat the Browns. And they did. I just don't think they're going to be Baltimore. Baltimore wants to win this. Tennessee, if they win, they're the number one seed in the AFC. That's all they got to do. And all they got to do is beat the Texans. They're going to do it. Um, why would they not? I pick yeah. them to almost lose every week. And then they keep winning. And Houston stinks. So I'm going Tennessee to take the number one seed, which I'm surprised because I don't think they're that great. But they keep winning. So I can't count against them. I just feel like they you know, they lost Henry and they lost these players. But they're still winning. So I, I'm wrong. Uh, Tennessee, you think so? Yep. All right. Three more games. The Chargers taking on the Raiders. Both of these teams are still in playoff contention. I think the Chargers are probably a little better, and I think they um, have a better chance of making it in. Do they? Do they beat the Raiders in Vegas? Yeah. Yeah. You going for it? I'm going to say Chargers. Okay. I am too. I am too. Brady picked Vegas. So if he wins, he's going to get double points. That's how we do it. San Francisco 49ers, they're in the playoffs. Um, they're taking, a, I believe they'll be, in the, I, I, they don't think they've clinched. I could be wrong on that. They're going to the Rams, who have clinched, but they haven't won their division yet, I don't believe. Who wins that? 49ers or Rams? Big matchup. Big matchup. Yeah, it is. Rams. I, it's got to be the Rams. San yep. Francisco, I've heard a lot, some people say that they've been doing better, and they, but. I'm not sold on them. Yeah. I was. I thought they were going to be, I said, this team could be good, and then they lost, so. And then right. the last game, Seattle. And who knows? Could we see two years of a uh, of a home Super Bowl for the first time? It happened last year. Could it happen again with the Rams? It, it, it could. It they could. were in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. They, they were, and they're good. Who Green Bay good? probably is the favorite, but Rams could win it. Final game, Seattle going to Arizona. Arizona had lost five in a row or four hundred five in a row. Then they beat the Cowboys. See, Cowboys losing these big games. The Seattle win, or is it the Cardinals? No, no. Arizona, Arizona win this. Uh, and like you've been saying, uh, Russell Wilson could be moving over. Well, I, there's rumors. Like, like like you were saying, the rumor was. Could be yeah. traded to Cleveland. Could be traded to Pittsburgh. Other locations. Now, we've been doing our Super Bowl predictions. Brady's not here to make that prediction, and I didn't ask him. So what is your Super Bowl prediction as of today, as of this recording, which is January uh, the 7th? I think I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Packers 
Or no, 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 no. I'm going to give a different pick. I'll say yeah. the Rams and the Colts. Ooh, that'd be good. But I don't know. The Colts could... Uh, sure. I'm going to go... This is tough. I'm going to go with Buffalo, which is not going to happen. Buffalo versus Green Bay. We try to switch it up. Um, Buffalo has been playing good. I don't know. I'd love to see Cincinnati in. But I don't think that's going to happen. They beat the Chiefs, though, so anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the games this weekend. We'll be back next weekend for Wild Card Weekend to make our selections mm -hmm. once everything's all put together. All right. All right. Have a good weekend. Yep. Enjoy the games. Yeah, all right. Next week, the playoffs begin. Yeah.